for all your enhanced four-wheel drive suspension needs. Take out the gas, install EFS. Over the years we've found that if you drop the air out of the tyres just a bit when you start to hit the dirt, all I'm dropping it down is about 4 psi because I want, I want a little bit more cushioning so all the stuff doesn't fly off the dash. Also, you've got to be careful not to drop the pressure out too far. If you start dropping it out too far, you're going to get a bit of roll in the tyre. And then, of course, you know we're, we've got a lot of load on this truck, so you've got to take in mind that you do have load on there. Three or four PSI is fine. Don't go too low. Jace has already explained about what you do to your tyres when you get onto corrugated roads and so forth. The second rule of thumb, when you hit sand, you can let your tyres right down to the lowest PSI possible. We're going to let ours down to 15, you can go as low as 10. BF Goodrich tyre, we've chosen this tyre because it can handle towing the big boat over the rocks and corrugations and it also has the surface area when you would get down to the sand, the surface area when we drop those tyres down increases twofold and hopefully this vehicle is going to float over this super ultra soft sand. The only way we go is with Waco. Apparently Rotto has been whinging to me, he wants the night off from cooking. I've only got a few ingredients I've pulled out of the Waco and basically with a few bits and pieces and a couple of bits of sauces I'm going to be able to knock you up a nice beautiful beef stir fry. First of all, basically what I've done is I've got my beef, it's already been pre-stripped at the butchers. A few ingredients, a couple of shallots, some celery, and some capsicum. I've got garlic, I've got some ginger there, a bit of lemon zest, something like that. So you can you can chuck some broccoli and and baby corn, do all those sorts of things if you like, but that's all I've found in the Waco. So I've got my rice in the background, it's gone because I want to have rice with it. So that's fine, I put that on earlier. So let's start. Let's get the hot oil in a pan. And my pan's getting pretty hot because I want it absolutely smoking in there because stir fry is all about heat. You want to cook it with heat. Now the idea is just to take the pink out of it. Don't cook it too long, otherwise it's going to go too tough. So while I've got that in there, I'm going to add some ginger. I'm going to add a big slab of garlic. Garlic always goes down well with me. Just mix that in. Now if you have a look at that, you can see the pink's just gone out of the meat, which is just right now. I then add in my vegetables. Now, while that's just cooking there for the time being, I'm going to do the sauce up quickly. That's very simple. Bit of Worcestershire. Like that. Bit of Worcestershire. I've got some sweet chilli. Bit of sweet chilli. Bit of oyster sauce. Chuck a bit of honey on. Oh yeah, nice bit of honey, a bit of lemon zest. That lemon zest gives it that tang. Alright, so I've got my lemon zest in there and then I put a bit of barbecue sauce in. There we go. Don't forget a bit of salt in here. While that's going, whack that straight in. There's a fair bit of moisture in there with that meat, so that'll make the sauce. Now the idea is this is quick, simple, fast, Easy meal to cook, especially when you're out in the bush. All right, we'll get that off the heat. And that's looking pretty flash there. You can see the moisture in the meat there has created our sauce with that sauce that I made up. All we need now is our rice. So I'll just check my rice, see if my rice is going. The rice is perfect, so I'll switch that off. Now, the key to rice is a lot of people boil rice, so it's all gluggy and crap. But the trick to rice is, is to put the amount of rice in, the amount of water. So one cup of rice, one cup of water. Two cups of rice, two cups of water. And probably just a touch more. Then you bring it to the boil, make sure you've got a lid that seals on your saucepan. And then when that boils, you then turn it to low, and then you sit it there and you steam your rice. You don't boil the guts out of your rice. If you want it to taste like when you go to the Thai restaurant, that's how you do it. And a bit of the old stir fry on top. If you have a look at that, that's a quick, simple meal in the bush made from a few simple ingredients. There's like three ingredients in there, other than all your sauces, but three ingredients. Simple and effective. Let's get a taste. Mm. 
Tastes good. You can taste that that uh, lemon, that lemon zest. Gives it a bit of tang. And the meat, the meat should melt in your mouth because you haven't overcooked it. There you go. Nice and simple. I think it's time for me to sit down. And that's something to eat.